Yeah, and so this energy which is being produced, any energy always ra it radiates out. So that radiates radiates out in the in the form of wavelengths. Albert Einstein's uh, equation E is equal to m c squared. So that simply means energy. Everything that that has mass has energy in it. So it says that uh, there are five layers in it. Okay. But tell me one thing. Uh, all of us have all the five layers. Or our uh, soul really rests deep inside us, and once uh, you know that's that feels better then our emotional health goes better. Then our mental health goes better. When our mental health is okay, it affects our physical health. And then obviously our aura. And Everybody is going through some of the other emotions in their life. They have their own uh, uh, you know, challenges going on. And it is us who can balance our own aura. Hello and Namaste to all the viewers. Welcome to Anon Streams by Anon Global Foundation. I am Riddhi Lutra Rora, your host for the new podcast series, Energy Equilibrium, Wellness Conversation with Ms. Prabhleen Chaudhary. Welcome, ma'am. Hi, Riddhi. Thank you. Thank you for having me over. In this series, we will delve deep into the art and science of maintaining balance and harmony in our lives. We'll explore how energy, both within and around us, influences our well-being. And we'll learn the practical techniques for achieving and sustaining equilibrium. We will discuss topics such as energy healing, meditation practices, the impact of emotions on our energy fields, and how to cultivate a balanced lifestyle. Join us on this enlightening journey as we uncover the secrets to living a balanced, energized, and fulfilling life. We have our esteemed uh, guest, Ms. Prabhleen Chaudhary. And Ms. Prabhleen is a life coach and spiritual counselor, boosting a rich academic background in both literature and management. She initiated her professional journey in the educational sphere and has decided to uh, dedicate herself to nurturing and guiding adults. Wow, ma'am, that's commendable. This is actually the need of the hour. On the more, ma'am has been honored with a prestigious scholarship by the United States Embassy, New Delhi. I am I'm really an honor to be here with you. So ma'am, what developed your interest to propel your career towards the human energy field? So Riddhi, uh, as you talked about my uh, educational background, I've been into, I've studied the education sector. I've been in, studied and uh, been a part of the management sector very actively. You know, I was, I worked for 10 years in these fields. And uh, it is that time that I realized that uh, just the education which we're giving to these children is not going to shape their lives. There is more to life. You know, there were students who were very bright. I mean, they would know the subject very well. Yet there was something which was holding them back. And that really made me um, read about uh, human behavior, the human energy field, and all other aspects of uh, human beings. I, I can totally relate to it because even I uh, see people around, or me myself, a lot of times there are few things that actually hold you back. And that's the energy within. And I think this is some new term that has really, really come up and is around us all the time. So, uh, and I'm very excited about these interactive series that I'm going to share with you. So, uh, and today in our first very episode titled The Energy and Atomy, we are thrilled to have Ms. Chaudhary with us like we have her here. We will be exploring the fascinating world of energy and atomy, where we unravel the mysterious of human energy system. We will discuss the different layers and components of energy field, including the aura the chakras and the meridians and how they interact with our physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. I am so surprised there's so much going on within us and, and we are so busy always on the social media and I'm, I'm glad that I am in touch with you today and these for this whole series podcast that I learn so much, so much more that my body actually requires instead of these things that keep us awake all night. So thank you again, ma'am. And uh, like I mentioned, Ms. Chaudhary will be guiding us through the basics of the energy anatomy, sharing her wisdom on how we can maintain an, ener 
uh, enhance our energetic health. So I think let's begin the session for today. We all know a lot about our physical body and its functions. However, there is still a wealth of knowledge to be learned about the body's subtle energy systems and their connection with, like I mentioned, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. So ma'am, can you put some light on uh, what do we understand by the term energy anatomy? To be to be honest, this is something new for me as well. And I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I'm all ears to you. Okay, Riti, I would like to start, <clears throat> sorry, with the science side of energy. And uh, I'd like to give young people like you uh, the scientific side of uh, uh, reason and answers because uh, you know the youth of today uh, they want they want proof and so let's start with science okay so I always start with uh, uh, Albert Einstein's uh, equation E is equal to mc squared so that simply means energy everything that has mass has energy in it okay and uh, so be it you know, any object which is near you, be it us, be it the chair we are sitting on, anything, we it has energy. Now, what happens when you talk about human energy field or the human energy anatomy? Uh, human body is made up of tissues and these tissues have these tiny cells in it. We all have studied. And these cells are continuously producing uh, energy, you know. As we breathe in, we breathe out, um, you know, while we are awake or asleep, the cell system is constantly producing energy. Now this energy is uh, not just produced by the tissues um, on our skin, in our skin, but also the tissues of our heart, our brain, uh, our other body parts like um, the liver, the lungs. So all of this, yeah, absolutely. And so this energy which is being produced any energy always it radiates out, so that radiates radiates out in the in the form of wavelengths. Okay, so as these tissues are as this energy is being produced constantly inside us, it is radiated out as the human biomagnetic field. So that's the magnetic field we have around us. Okay, so uh, it was in in 1963 that first time the heart's magnetic field was measured. And uh, yeah, and it was in, uh, it was, I think, Brian uh, Joseph, uh, who around the same time had uh, discovered uh, magnometer. It is a very sensitive magnometer. It's called squint. So it measures the human uh, electromagnetic field for us, and which, which helps us understand the energy, energy um, study, you know, the, the it helps us in the studies of human energy field. So this exactly. is, yeah, so this is basically what we science, you know, it's, it's according to science, the energy field we have. And, um, uh, but yes, you in, you know, in the yogic ways and in the other, uh, I'm, sh I'm sure everyday conversation you hear, there are so many other layering of human energy field. We'll come, I think come to that later in our conversation. But yes, I would like to begin that uh, it's science. We all have a, a human electromagnetic field around us. It can be measured uh, by equi equipment, research equipment. And um, we have different wavelengths. And uh, our wave, you know, our energy field can be measured uh, till five to eight feet away from our body. So that's wow. how, that's the area it spreads out to be. And, wow. Uh, so when we say that, you know, we are exchanging energies or, you know, that's such a waste of energy or we use phrases like this, you know, he's taking so much of my energy. Yeah. It's the energy, this, it's not the food energy that we are talking about. It's actually the wave, this wavelength and the uh, energy that's going on, running inside us. We've used the word energy in our conversations many times, like he's, you know, my energy got wasted and this and that, but uh, we really never understood what is energy. That really we are, uh, you know, in the you know human beings, our bodies are made of energy. We're constantly making this energy. Now, if I go very deeply, so what are emotions? You know, it's basically a single in the signal in the brain, and the brain releases a chemical, and the chemical goes around our body, and that that's called chemical energy. So, right. this basic functioning is all energy. 
I know. I think uh, in school time we have just read about the blood flowing in our body. Now it's the time which says that energy is also flowing in our body. That's wow, this is really interesting. So, ma'am, like you mentioned about these uh, different tissues or the layers present in, uh, you know, the well-being and the health, like which helps. Uh, is it like um, that? Uh, there are different kinds of layers that has is there, right? And the which goes the energy flows. So is it like, I, I read it that there are five layers, I think, before joining and having an interaction with you. I, a little bit, I had it there, read about it. So it says that uh, there are five layers in it. Okay. But tell me one thing, uh, all of us have all the five layers or is it like, am I missing one or two of them? Maybe, you know, my energy is coming because I'm very emotional. So my energy comes out very quickly. So am I missing out on any of the layer or is it like, okay, I'm doing fine. Okay, so the layers you're talking of, the five main layers you're talking of, mm -hmm. then they are um, they are studied in the yogic or the um, you know in you know if you're studying Reiki or you're studying the other side of healing, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know then those layers are talked about. If you talk about the scientific, we have seven layers. So we're basically the frequency we the. Uh, uh, layering is there are seven layers of uh, wavelengths around us which can okay. be measured and our heart uh, you know that uh, the heart's wavelength is the um, uh, strongest wavelength and uh, mm -hmm. but the five layers you've been talking about is uh, so you know it's a basic understanding that science on one side but the well-being of a human being depends on the physical well-being Right. The mental well-being, the emotional well-being, and the soul well-being. Okay. So these are four things. But there's one more thing which I which we can add from the science that is the magnetic field around us. Okay. Right. Some you can call it aura. You can call it. Uh, so there is this etheric that is called the etheric field. That is the fifth field. So fifth layer. Sorry. So there's the physical layer, the etheric layer the mental layer, the emotional layer, and the, the soul layer, or from the spiritual layer, whichever you want to. And yes, we all have it. And uh, it's just that uh, for some, you know, one layer would be um, stronger, and for the other, maybe some other layer would be stronger. Depends on what you're resonating or what you are, how you're feeling that day. Right. True. I, I can relate to it. I mean, obviously, I need more knowledge about it, uh, but uh, somehow I can relate to it, especially since uh, this COVID time, yes. that the mental health, health has been taken over yeah. and uh, how we always discuss all these things. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, your vibe, your aura, these words have really come up, these terms, but we haven't really ever understood in depth. Yeah. So here we are, and uh, and I'm sure everybody is going to enjoy because this is actually what we all need to know. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so these, uh, all these things help us in balancing our health. And uh, there must be some key features or components to it. Like, uh, can you share some primary, like you've talked about the layers, yes. maybe, uh, uh, you know, the five fields that you've spoken. So is there any uh, primary components to it? Something, uh, you know, uh, that some terms, some things that we are missing out on, just on a basic yeah, so if I have to just tell you on the way, just the basic level. So right. once you understand that, yes, we are made of energy. Yes, we are resonating, a, you know, wavelengths, you know. Right. And uh, like I talked about it earlier as well. If you listen, if you see your heartbeat, you visit a hospital, you visit somebody and you see their heartbeat going on the monitor, like in the wave, you know, just in the way a wavelength goes. That's how even our uh, internal, internal organs are being monitored by doctors. So when we understand there's energy, when we understand there's uh, this um, magnetic field around us, we must appreciate and we must try and keep this in balance. And we try, we should try and keep, uh, understand it more deeply. And to understand it, to keep it in an equilibrium, we need to talk about the five layers. That is right. our physical body body, our mental health, our uh, the mental layer, the emotional layer, and our spiritual layer. And once these are like a little coordinated, your etheric layer would, would be, uh, you know, coordinated, will be in balance. But what's more right. important is, yeah, from here it goes outward, right? So, right. 
So you're the you know they see spiritually you know when you, if you visit a temple or you know you you feel something you know or you are just praying at home or you meditate you just feel there's something inside. Sometimes you walk out of a temple and you say, "They say my mind, my you know, very good, peace came to me. Right. Mandir, I came to my mind, peace came to me. So our spiritual, our uh, soul, really rests deep inside us. And once uh, you know that's that feels better, then our emotional health goes better. Then our mental health goes better. When our mental health is okay, it affects our physical health, and then obviously our aura and oh. our. I am really enjoying how these health. So I'm going to focus on first spiritual. So it, uh, you know, come, takes care of all the other health. Great. So, like, uh, ma'am, you mentioned about the term aura. So, uh, and you know, this drives my attention to that. That uh, many times it happens that in a situation where we don't get some positive, like this vibe board is, I think I also related to aura, this uh, new generation term. So, uh, this positive vibes or we don't feel good or nice around some people. So, uh, how do I interpret that uh, situation? Is it my aura which is negative or is it uh, there? Because a lot of time we say that we, we got this energy, we got this negative energy from them. We got, how do I know that? Is it in me or is it coming from the outside when I'm meeting somebody? So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I would not, you should never put anybody else uh, uh, you know, I don't believe in blaming anybody else to be uh, for how we are feeling. We should be strong enough uh, energetically. We should be balanced enough that somebody's aura should not really hamper our aura, right? And for that, you have to understand that uh, um, it is either you maintain all these layering in a way that uh, this doesn't affect you. But if you don't maintain your layers, then anybody's aura can affect you. Good aura can affect you. Somebody's aura is a little negative. It's not negative, basically. What happens is, um, see, there's nothing good or bad. Life is, uh, you can't divide people into good people or bad people. So somebody thinks a little more than what we think. So what's happening is they're using their mind, the brain a lot. So what's happening is that the energy in the in the brain is being um, uh, you know, produced more than normal. Right. Okay, so what happens? It affects the electromagnetic field. So the okay. the electro the wavelength which is which is coming from our brain will be because it's worked up a little more. So there'll be a little slight uh, wave. I mean, difference in their uh, wavelength which is coming from their mind. Okay, somebody's feeling something or somebody's hurt, just feeling low because um, you know it's associated with heart. When you're not feeling, when you're feeling low, or if you're very anxious, your heartbeat goes really fast. You know, you have somebody's anxious, they say, My heartbeat is, my pulse is high. Mujhe anxiety ho gaya hai, meri pulse bhi high hai, right? Right. And anxiety ki se why? Because we, we were thinking too much, or somebody said something. Wo emotional reason say, Mujhe anxiety hua, or anxiety se mera pulse high ho gaya. So it affects, it's affecting my heart. So what mm -hmm. happens is when your heart is being affected, obviously the wavelength which is coming out of you, the energy wavelength is going to differ. So what mm -hmm. happens is people, uh, you know, most of us are energetic, uh, you know, the magnetic, electromagnetic field is not balanced. Kisi ka heart zada chal rahe, kisi ka mind zada chal rahe. Uh, you know, somebody is hurt physically and uh, se uske tissues hurt hain. So what happens is when you meet somebody, uh, you you sense it. You know, we our senses are we are humans have great senses, and if you would know, our retinas can uh, actually identify magnetic fields. You know, so uh, yeah, I don't want to go in too much in detail about it, but yes, our our our, our retinas they actually identify magnetic fields, and uh, so any change in this imbalance in somebody, you can feel it. That we can yeah. feel. As, as humans, we can feel it. But, uh, um, you know, we can't blame others uh, others for their aura that, that, you know, my aura is not okay because I met somebody. That means you didn't keep yourself in balance. You met somebody who was not having a great day and uh, the, the aura was not balanced. And But you didn't balance out yourself. 
you just got so affected by that person that you came home all uh, you know, disturbed. So uh, yes, you can sense auras, but yes, you must keep your balance so that nobody's uh, aura can affect yours. But the emotions, they get affected so quickly. And, and whenever we get disturbed, it's the first thing that we hear from the, you know, our elders or anybody who's concerned about us will be like that, control your emotions. Yes, so absolutely. How, how do we control? I mean, is it just the overthinking that makes us? Uh, it's what, because whenever I read, they say that uh, thoughts, the thoughts, they bring up the emotions. Like you're saying, it goes layer by layer. So yeah. emotions are the main uh, you know, passage from where all this begins? It actually does. And it also does from your life journey. I mean, um, somebody can be very emotional, might not have a very tough life journey, very comfortable life journey. And yet a person can be very emotional, very emotionally fragile. And the mm -hmm. other way around can be that somebody has had a very tough life and that right. person is amazingly composed and calm and composed. Right. So it's how everybody, you know, they uh, take their journey, life journey, how they handle the emotions. But the three major things which I tell everybody when I'm taking a counseling session is that you must be in your present. Like when I'm having a conversation with you, I'm going to be only here with you. OK, I'm not going to think anything else. I'm going to enjoy what that's called mindfulness. And I think Anon has done a um you know a podcast on mindfulness as well and second thing is uh be aware when i say be aware is you should know what defines you you know right. these are my things these are my this these are the things i don't like this is the way i function okay and um i have this kind of belief system so this is me you have to identify yourself who are you you know, people say, I don't know, so <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know. I start scolding everybody and I'm not so, uh, you know, there's some restlessness in me. So that person doesn't understand that that person gets anxious. Maybe that person could a little, um, you know, in order program unko idea you know should be they want a planned day they don't want any mm -hmm. unplanned day so whenever there's something which comes which is unplanned it, it makes them uh, you know very anxious and they end up behaving the way they behave because just that the person doesn't understand or doesn't introspect so they don't never understand they just give the statement I don't know what you that restless so right. uh, that is being aware. Okay, and the third most important thing is uh, forgiveness. Forget, forgive. not yes. forget, but forgive your past. Forgive yes. Whatever somebody has done to you, it is done. And whatever you, you did to yourself, that is also done. Right. So these three things, you know, that'll keep you in there. Your, they'll keep your emotions to your core. They'll keep you strong. And once your emotions are strong, it affects everything. Now it's like scientifically, the you know, doctors are researching how our emotions, our, our mental and emotional health really affects our physical health. I mean, they, you know, they are the underlying causes of diseases. Right. True. I I, uh, I totally agree. Wow. There's so much interesting. And especially the main thing that we all need to learn is that never blame anybody. Everybody is going through some of the other emotions in their life. They have their own, uh, uh, you know, challenges going on. And it is us who can balance our own aura and yes. help maybe help the other one. And be there and forgive. Forgive yes, your so past. Not anybody. Forgive your past. Because forgive your past. Right, because uh, I, I totally agree with that because it's the it's like the emotional baggage that we carry on with us. Mm -hmm. right. Wow, I mean, uh, I, I am already feeling so much of good energy around me talking to you and uh, it's, it's, it's really giving me a lot of positivity. So mm -hmm. um, I, I'm really thankful to you for this. I am having a very interactive and very interesting session, guys. I mean... Uh, probably, ma'am, I am being fond of her. I've just met her a few minutes ago and I'm already uh, being very fond of her and her aura. 
although i'm just seeing her on screen and uh, ma'am thank you so much and uh, uh, i think from here we will we can continue our session in the next uh, podcast episode for today it is good enough for us to just remember and take care of our emotions so we can uh, build up a good energy within us and bring us uh, bring it around us uh, it's i'm sorry be in a balance and you know maintain our energy equilibrium right energy equilibrium right uh, like just how we maintain our balance health uh, by eating good balanced diet we need to maintain a good balance uh, emotional health as well the mental health yes. great thank, thank you so much ma'am i'm sorry would you like to end by saying something else adding on something uh no i like i said you know the the three main steps to being uh, to having that equilibrium is uh, like i just said that you have to be alert you have to be aware of who you are and you need to forgive your past no matter what alert aware and forgiveness these three things guys everybody is going to remember these three things and before we come to the next uh, podcast episode we have to focus on these three, three things and ma'am i'm sure if you will be also able to tell me next in my next episode how am i feeling if if you can read me so i will be alert i'll be more aware and i will forgive more thank you so much for being with us today it was really god nice god bless you riddhi keep smiling and wish and on all the Uh, very best for whatever and ever they go forward with thank you thank you so much ma'am and thanks to all the viewers for um, uh, seeing us today and i hope you gained not much, little but a lot like i have to and been enlightened by prableen ma'am there's a magic in this energy and let's light it so we look forward to you all and the next episode with a lot more information on energy so let's take care of our balance not just the balance diet but even the mental balance health so stay tuned thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you